Welcome to the Weasley Update. Holy shit. I should have checked what episode and stuff this was beforehand. I just took a pretty gnarly bowl to the face. Um, a, <coughs> a great friend of mine hooked me up with a bunch of different strains yesterday. And I just called this one called... Or I tried this one called Jack something. Oh no, I'm not even gonna look. It's all tucked away in a mason jar. Jack Freezer or something maybe, but... God, it's got me cooked. Okay, this should be episode 9. And it is the 24th. I can't fucking believe that. Uh, Jesus Christ, yeah, I've got some music coming out tomorrow. Check that shit out. Boy Eccentric. I'm so fucking pumped about it. But I'm not going to spend a bunch of time talking about that. Because as I've said before, I don't want to like plug myself on this. But, um, let's see, it's, like I said, it's episode 9, it's the 25th, what am I missing? I'm fucking stoned and I'm ready to ramble, I guess. Jesus, fuck, I'm ripped. I've been watching fucking Titans a lot. Blowing through that show. I'm well into the second season. (coughs) It's pretty good. Um, I think that... You know, like, the Robin situation is sort of weird. I don't know where the fuck Jason went. Fuck. I mean, spoilers if you're watching Titans or plan to watch Titans. But what the fuck? Like, Jason just disappears. I guess there's, you know, some episodes left. But I don't know. It's pretty alright writing. But it's obviously, like, compelling enough that I've blown through it. Uh, up, <coughs> Excuse me. Up until this point. And I will acknowledge the possibility that that could solely be because I'm a huge fan of the Teen Titans cartoon growing up, which is just a a different fucking level of awesome. Like, these two things independent of each other. Oh my god. I can say for certainty that the original Teen Titans show is better. You know, it's a cartoon. I mean, it's weird, and it's like a kid show, and sort of in, like, an anime style, but it works so goddamn well. Fucking, uh, God, what's his name? Hellboy. My dad and Parker, got a picture digging with him. Ron Perlman. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Fucking Ron Perlman voiced Deathstroke in that, which is If you don't know who Deathstroke is, he is, like, one of the coolest fucking DC characters of all time. And there's yet to be a definitive live-action performance of the character. He, like, popped up on Arrow, and... (coughs) Excuse me, it was alright, I guess. And then, like... I don't know, that just wasn't great, but... Um... He was at the end of Justice League, but that was, like, a reshot fucking ending to set up some new dumb shit, but, uh, that same guy who's one of my favorites, I, I I can't pronounce his name to save my life, but I'm going to look it up and try for you guys, Joe, man, okay, okay, let's try this, Joe Manganiello, Joe Manganiello, Joe Mangan, Joe Man, yeah, that's my fucking best guess. M A N G A N I E L L O. Yeah, I fuck man, but uh, he was on True Blood. I think I've talked about this before. Fucking also a good show that uh, just sort of shit the bed at the end. But fucking God damn it, I was so into it, and I rewatched some of it. But um. Dude, that's just the worst. It's honestly so sad to get into a a show for that long and then at the end just have it shit out. Dude, I I can't believe it's almost Christmas time. Like, I'm literally seeing Christmas on my calendar right now and it's sort of freaking me out. Oh, I got a little bit of Christmas slash birthday shopping done today, but I still have... That still leaves two people. So I basically have a month. Okay. 
All right, that's doable. <coughs> but if I'm like ordering anything online, I sort of need to. Oh, geez, my grandma's just so hard to shop for. And it's, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Because I imagine so many things that she would like, but then I second guess myself. I don't know. And then I've got one of my brothers to shop for. Oh, geez, so who do I have? The babies? Oh, yeah. So I'm actually doing pretty good right now. Ooh, we will fucking see, though. I I had such a hard time coming up with my Christmas list. And I wrote as a prank to my mom. I, like, showed her my, uh, <laughs> my Christmas list. And then when she wasn't looking, I wrote down a new item on the list that was very inappropriate. Um hoping that she would find it and see that and, like, you know, lose her shit laughing. Instead, what happened is my grandfather came over and my dad found it and read it out loud to my grandpa. And I was like, <laughs> did you not read this? And she was like, yeah, we went over it together. <sighs> so, did not go as according to plan, but, uh, I still think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> there was a, he came over today. There was no, no tension, but I fortunately was not there for the moment, that moment. That was a key detail I sort of left out. Oh my God. I can't believe I've got more Mandalorian this Friday. My mind is racing right now, dude. I'm so fucking big, but God damn it. That show has been cooking up like most of the episodes this season have been the best episodes of the series, which is, uh, you know, that's exactly what you want on the second season. And they are fucking pulling it off. Mm. Spoilers, if you're not watching, or spoilers if you are watching The Mandalorian. The next episode is called The Jedi. And, oh, I cannot be more fucking excited. My girl Rosario Dawson is fucking gonna be in that shit. I'm such a big fan of her. From fucking, like, Daredevil and Luke Cage and the Defenders. She's in Jessica Jones, right? Let's look this up. Rosario Dawson. Oh my god, I love you so much. Uh, Rosario Dawson. Oh. Shit. She was. Television series, but Marvel. Do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Speaking to the crowd during the Dawson and moderator Laura. Do 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 do. Yes. Okay. She said she is in Jessica Jones. She was also in Iron Fist. I did not finish Iron Fist because I had the same opinion as everyone else, and that opinion was that that show was fucking garbage. But Daredevil was so, so good. And that's honestly what makes me, like, really excited for the fucking new Batman. Is, like, it looks a lot like Daredevil. The Netflix show, not the Ben Affleck movie. How did that movie get such a good cast? Like, are you kidding me? It was so... You got Colin Farrell. You got Jennifer Garner. Fucking Ben Affleck. Is that Michael Clark Duncan? Let's see. Is he in the tiny print? Michael Clark Duncan, you're fucking shitting me. You know, maybe I need to revisit it, but I th think that's universally accepted as ass. Oh my god, the show. Now I'm just looking at pictures from the show, because it was so, so good. Punisher was good, too. That, that wasn't included. When did that air? Wait, wait, wait. When did... Daredevil here. Wow, 2015. That's fucked up. I guess that makes sense because I wasn't quite old enough to work. I remember when it premiered. Um, and so, like, for a while, I'd been working under the table doing a bunch of yard work for this dude. And I was like, oh, my God. To, uh... Oh, yeah, to watch that show. Wow, that's fucked up. 
Alright, Punisher TV show. Um, 2017, wow. That show is also pretty cool. I was really into that show, but not in the same way as Daredevil. Fucking A, though. Breaking Bad. I'm doing a big project on Breaking Bad, so I've been going back and rewatching it. And oh, it's like, and okay, what I should preface is like, I'm not going to get into it, but the I'm supposed to be looking specifically at Walt and Hank. Uh, so I'm skipping everything else altogether, but all of that shit is just so rich. That show is just. So, so insanely good from start to finish. <sighs> Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul. Oh my god. Who, who the fucking thought, who else was on that show? I feel like there was a bunch of, because Badger was fucking Kick Batowski's friend. What's that guy's name? Kick Batowski, Batowski. Uh, Kick but <laughs> yeah that is so, oh my fucking god that's hilarious okay matt l jones he's the first person listed yeah okay breaking bad mom i don't know what that is el camino sanjay and craig that looks familiar but i did not get into that bright burn interesting yeah i did not see that movie but I wanted to. Oh my god. That's Skinny Pete. Holy shit. That's Skinny Pete. Oh my god. Charles Baker is his name. Let's see. Has he done it? Okay. Breaking Bad. El Camino. The Neon Demon. The Blacklist. Perry Manson. All Rise. Yeah, I haven't really heard of any of these things but based on the dating he's been working consistently so fucking good for that guy that's awesome oh my god but the fucking real badass of that show uh is also the fucking real badass of the mandalorian uh gian i'm gonna look him up g oh shit that's an h god damn it g yeah Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy's awesome. He plays Gus Fring in Breaking Bad and Moff Gideon in The Mandalorian. He is the fucking shit. God damn it, I want him to play Professor X. Oh, that would be sick. Because that's... How do you... You know, the last person to be Professor X was fucking Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart, my bad. Like, oh, so that that's hard. So it's got to be a little, uh, he, you know, anyone would have to do it a little bit different. But fuck, he would be so awesome in that role because he plays like when he's in fucking Breaking Bad when he's uh, like behind the counter or in his little fucking chicken shop. He he plays the nice guy so well. What else has he done? Let's see. Man, he is fucking awesome. Do 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 do. Pew. Ah, fuck. I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for that. The Usual Suspects. You are kidding me. I haven't seen that, but that's that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Akella in the Jungle Book. I actually just found that out. I was like, by happenstance, watching a clip from the newer Jungle Book, and I heard this fucking wolf start talking, and I was like, holy shit, is that Gus Fring? Maze Runner. Interesting. Good for him. Mandalorian, obviously. DuckTales. The boys. Fuck. I honestly forgot he was in that. God damn. That guy is so cool. He's in everything I love. Now he just needs to fucking be in Marvel. I guess the same in me. No sense. I'm so big. Princess Bride? No way. What is this supposed to be? 
no, get out of here. IMDb. Serialized remake of The Princess Bride. <coughs> yeah, we'll see. Harley Quinn. He's Lex Luthor in the Harley Quinn show. You motherfuckers. God damn it. I'm a fucking A. I wanted to watch that anyways, but now I'm going to have to get into that because I'm going to run a run out of Titans. Man, Harley Quinn, that's going to be a fucking <coughs> good watch. I bet I've seen some clips and it's hilarious. It's, uh, fucking Kaylee Cuckoo voices are Cuckoo. Co- Better Call Saul, obviously. <coughs> Goddamn, Star Girl. I don't know what the fuck that is. Godfather of Harlem. Coda, Line of Duty, Creep Show. Oh, the new one. Wow. Fuck, I still need to watch that too. I can't believe it. He's in Westworld. Oh my god, dude. Fuck, I feel like I gotta <coughs> God damn. I feel like I gotta watch that now. Oh yeah, Once Upon a Time. I don't really remember many scenes with him in that. Yeah, that's uh, good for him. Does he have any notable accolades? Holy shit, I need to get some water. I am coughing my balls off. Ooh. All right, let's see. Um, I'm not really seeing a bunch of reliable news, personal details, question, star side. <laughs> nice, IMDb. Thank God I know his star side. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, I could just talk about how fucking awesome that dude is all day, but, you know, if I want him as my, uh, uh, Xavier, I want Matt Bomber, I'm gonna write this down, actually, that's how much of a goddamn fucking shirt I am, okay, Giancarlo Esposito as, uh, Xavier, Matt, Bomb. How do you spell Matt Bomber's name? I feel like it's spelled a dumb way. God damn it. Oh, yeah. It is spelled exactly not like I thought it would be. Uh, ooh, man. That bomber is Gambit. I'm trying to think. Then who would be next? Then let's see. Storm. I'm gonna write down. Not gonna put anything there for for them yet. Uh, Rogue. Um, oh Jesus. Yeah. That's honestly hard. Like, if I just had to whip up a bunch of Beast. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some Beast in there. Maybe some old school Beast. That'd be interesting. Okay. Matt Bomber. Man, who would be a good Storm? Honestly, there were some stupid rumors about Rihanna. And I'm gonna go with that because I think that would be fucking so cool. Rogue, though, is... Pretty... Fucking hard for me. <laughs> oh no. My cat's eating the flowers. So that's hilarious. I mean, it's fucked up, but my mom caught her. Oh god. Anyways, who the fuck would I cast her as Rogue or Beast? That's sort of hard because Beast was just. just done. You know? I don't know. Maybe. Ooh. What is, what is she in? Is it Baby Driver? Is that the girl from Baby Driver that I'm thinking of? Baby. Oh, God damn it! Come on, are you kidding me? This is the, the worst search bar I've ever done with in my life. Uh, Baby. 
driver. Yeah. Let's fucking see. Yep, John Bernthal, the motherfucking man. Lily James. Oh, she was also Cinderella. That's right. Yeah, she's my rogue. Lily James. What a cool name. I wonder if that's her real name. Lily James. Oh. That leaves me with Beast. God, I've just got to write in some, like, other X-Men, like, let's go Angel. And... Oh my god, I just wrote down Angle. I'm so fucking stupid. Uh, how often am I writing Angel? Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's just see. I'm just gonna look up. X-Men and... Oh, Mystique. Fucking A, that's a hard one. Yeah, give, give me some Quicksilver as well. Do 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 do. I like that. Um. Oh yeah, Magneto. How the fuck could I forget that? See, Magneto is a really fucking hard one for me. You know, I I sort of like um, Malfoy's dad. Yes. Yes. Are you on the phone with someone? I'm recording the podcast. You hear about uh, the weekend? Oh, getting snubbed and shit? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Dude, bad. Yeah, I, d- I didn't really fucking... I was more reading into the Nicki Minaj drama. I was seeing all that, and I was like, what the fuck? Because he chose to do the Super Bowl halftime show and not the Grammys. Wow. I didn't even realize there was... Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I just heard he he put out like a a pretty bold statement. Yeah, and then the Grammys manager was just like, "We need transparency now," because he got fucking snubbed. Blinding lights. Wow. The whole album did nothing. People are fucking pissed. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't read into any of that weekend shit. Fucking A, though. Who would I pick as Magneto? Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Malfoy's dad. The fuck? That's not what I want to do. Uh, Harry Potter. Malfoy. Malfoy. Malfoy dad. Jason Isaacs. Okay. 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 I'm not reserved to that yet, but... I think he'd be pretty fucking good. Ooh, I just don't know. God, I want to ask my mom, but I really don't want to go ambush her. With, like, you know, bringing this out here. Ooh. Yeah, that's... That might be the hardest one. But then who, who would I pick for Quicksilver? Honestly, I, I just really like... I feel like Evan Peters and Aaron Taylor Johnson were both so good. It's hard, though, because all of the people I like are probably... You know, like, when they're casting for some shit like that, they're looking for some young people who can... Or relatively young people who can carry a franchise for a while, so... I don't know if a lot of the people I like from my childhood are, like, fitting into that. I don't know, though. I have no idea. Marvel has done some crazy castings before, so... Yeah, I think Jason Isaacs would be as good a fucking choice as any. I just really like Rihanna as Storm. And Matt Bomber as Gambit. I think... Oh, ow! God damn it. I just hit my head on my desk. Probably disturbed by say. What's up, dude? I love that thing. Oh, yeah, I don't know. And, like, I'm not even really thinking about Wolverine. Originally, Keanu Reeves was, like, my, my Wolverine guy, but I, uh, ooh, I would way rather have him as Ghost Rider. 
Because that would be just insanely sick. You know, maybe Zac Efron could be Angel. That would sort of be cool. Hmm. I don't know. What other X-Men am I missing? I feel like I'm just, like, missing obvious X-Men right now. Yeah, don't, don't give me the movie lineups. God damn it, it's just all... Oh, shit, all right. Oh, Bishop. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, maybe? Iceman, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get fucking Nightcrawler in there. Ooh. You know who I honestly think would be cool as Nightcrawler? He's that dude from... I think he's in that show, This Is Us. Uh, and he was in Heroes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, fuck, what is this guy's name? Show me the cast, goddammit. Oh, okay, Milo, wow. Milo Ventum. <laughs> Ventu <laughs> Oh god I'm not even gonna try dude I'm too fucking dumb I'm literally too dumb That is so fucking fun Oh god Oh Sterling K. Brown is in that show That's awesome I like that guy Let's see, let's see what he's been in Biography What the fuck Oh, yeah, he was in Black Panther for a little bit. This is us. Hotel Artemis. The Predator. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't see that. I heard it was fucking garbage. Fuck them for making that movie. It's the most passionate I'm going to get all night. That was fucked up. What a tragedy. That, uh, They just can't fucking... They just announced another one, and I'm really pumped just because I just hope that they can make a, a fucking good Predator movie again, but they're just beating a dead horse, and it sort of makes me sad. Frozen Tooth. I didn't see that, but that's right. I remember like seeing that in a clip. Uh, and he's in a bunch of shit, actually. Ooh, Garrett Hedlund. He'd be a fucking good angel. He would be a good gambit, though, too. Yeah, I'm gonna write him down for uh, angel. Gary. Headland. Uh, I'm actually gonna text my sister right now and see what her thoughts are on it. Okay. Okay, I'm live recording a podcast, and if you're okay with me sharing your results, I would like your help on a question. That makes it sound so, like, fucked up. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. Last night she sent me some weird Willem Dafoe fucking... Yeah, but I'm just seeing it again. That's hilarious. All right, I'm just gonna take back. Okay, who is your um? Who is your new rather? Xavier, Gambit, Storm, Rogue. Beast, Magneto, Quicksilver, Angel, I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to say you can answer as many as you want. Fuck yeah. She's going to have some good insight, especially about the Magneto one. Ooh, Iceman, maybe? No, like, 
<laughs> okay. No, like, new cast. Fuck. I should have left an Iceman. I'm gonna throw that in. Iceman 2. Or any X-Men. I'm interested in what she has to say. Fuck yeah. She was so fucking quick to respond. That's awesome. Oh, dude. You guys seen that new Mac? It's sort of crazy. But not as crazy as uh, all the rumors led it to believe. Surprise, surprise. Or led me to believe, rather. Um, uh, it's just like, I thought they were going to do a total redesign. But they did not do that at all. It's still pretty cool, but it's also really expensive. I was originally planning on spending like... Uh, you know, like, I basically wanted to get one with the biggest storage and thought I could do that with two grand, but that is not the case. So, I'm going to have to look at some different options, but that's only because now they're offering just, like, all these ridiculous packages of, of fucking ridiculous data. But I want that because those things are goddamn investments. Oh, man, I just love... Giancarlo Esposito, especially as Xavier. Holy goddamn fuck. Rihanna would be really cool too, but I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen her act. Does she act? I'm looking that up. Does Rihanna act? Act in Beats Motel? What? Okay, yeah, GQ, show me. Annie. Don't know what that is. Home, that's right. I think I saw that with like my grandma and my little brothers. This is the end, yeah. Bring it on. Interesting. Battleship, holy shit, I forgot. Valerian? Valerian, maybe? You got it. Wow. I don't know what that is. Ocean's 8. Fuck yeah. Yeah, alright. Well, that's all the vindication I need in that casting. Other than she fucking looks exactly like what I imagine Storm looks like. Oh, jeez. Oh, they got back to me. Oh. oh, my God. Okay, right off the bat, we agree on, uh, on Gambit. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. So she said, Ewan McGregor as Xavier. Holy shit, that's awesome. Tom Hardy's Juggernaut. Robert Downey Jr. as Magneto. But she says, like, pre-Iron Man. Like how... Oh, wow. Jay Bruchelle. Oh, Jay Bruchelle as Iceman. Nice, that's awesome. She says, second guy for Magneto would maybe get be the guy who plays Hannibal in the show. That's a great character. Or that's a great choice. Mads Mickelson. Oh god, it said Mock Lesson. Who do you think for Xavier Magneto is hard for Okay, I love you and McGregor. But I says she and Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah. I I had a really hard time fucking making a Magneto. I didn't even write one down. God damn it. I just can't stop thinking about Rihanna and Storm. Yeah, fucking X-Men is a loaded topic in our household. Grown up, that's for goddamn sure. 
Fuck. I don't know. Again, I just don't even want to think of another goddamn Wolverine. Because Logan's my favorite movie. And I'm going to end on that, bitches. It's already 840 and I'm an old man now. Peace out.